Newcastle. Sunderland. Two cities that embody the spirit and passion of football in the northeast. Two cities 14 miles apart, split right down the middle by a town called Washington. A town that's not famous for a lot, apart from George Washington and his family home being there, and obviously giving their name to Washington DC. Famous alumni include Brian Ferry from Roxy Music, Jordan Pickford, Heather Mills McCartney, one of the hairy bikers, and stand-up comedian turned content creator, Tony Jameson. His job is to take Washington Football Club from grassroots to glory. Hey everyone, what's up? Tony here. Hope you're well. Welcome to episode one of Grassroots to Glory, my tier 10 Football Manager 21 series, where the plan is to take my local club of Washington from tier 10 in England to ideally Premier League titles, Champions League titles, the works. That's what we want to do. Um, It may work, it may not work. Uh, We may get sacked, we may end up at a different club by episode four. Who knows? But that plan is to go from the bottom to the top. Uh, We are using the FM editor tier 10 database link to which is in the description below um, it's fantastic work he's done there so do go uh, download it follow along as well play yourselves as well if you want to do some save updates give me a shout out for that uh, if you're brand new to the channel you might want to subscribe to the channel now turn your notifications on because this is going to be a fun series we've also got a journeyman series as well which you might enjoy so do as i say subscribe to the channel and of course if you can give the video a big thumbs up that would be much appreciated as well so Ultimately, what we need to do is we need to introduce ourselves to our new surroundings. We are, as I say, the new manager of Washington Football Club. There you go. It's in, uh, the ink is on the paper now, I suppose. Um, There you go. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 40-year-old who has recently spent time away from club football. I've put pen to paper on a one-year deal worth £325. We have beaten off competition from Rudy Funk. No idea who Rudy Funk is, um, but he was apparently the favourite for the job, and I have gazumped him. So, basically, 1-0 to me already. Um, I'm looking forward to it, you know, I think it's going to be good fun. Um, We are back down, as I say, in Tier 10. It's going to be tough to be honest um i know a little bit about the club obviously growing up in the area um i know for a fact that this is gonna be a challenge quick little look at what we've got so reputation half a star um uh, media prediction fifth okay that's that's a bit of pressure that i don't need early doors um quite worrying there vacant director of football fine with that Vacant assistant manager, not fine with that. Um, that could be a problem. Okay, expectations wise, they're setting us out. Work within budget, makes sense. Finishing the top five. Okay, um, be competitive in the FA Cup. Reach the first round of the FA Vars. Be competitive in the Northern League Cup. Then my contract's up. And then for the next four or five years just be in the top five of the northern league division two okay that's fine right we can do this we can do this this is going to be fine right look just i've agreed to it we've already done it like let's just meet meet the press which i'm sure is just you know someone who's got a notepad or whatever yeah i think what we need to do with this i mean this is going to be long term isn't it like we need to familiarize ourselves with with the squad which (laughs) appears to be Oh, I've not even got enough players for a -a five-a-side team. (laughs) Right, if I thought this was going to be difficult before even clicking go, it's just got made a lot more tricky, to be honest. Uh, Two strikers and two defenders, that's all I've got. Oh, dear. Um, A lot of greyed-out players as well, so we might be able to offer them contracts, see what they are. Probably not contracts either. Probably going to have to be just appearance fees, I reckon. 
to work in this division because I get the impression we're not going to have a lot of money to spend. Um, let's see who we've got. So Sam Lilly trained at Scunthorpe. 16 determination. He's, he's, he's a superstar in this division. 20 year old. Just come in from Sunderland Riop. Um, what's his contract? £100? £100 appearance fee? Right, that's that's a lot of money. Um, Jack Warner, finishing 12. Acceleration 12. Off the ball 12. Jumping reach 14. Six foot six. A monster. Absolute monster. Played for Washington three years. Ryup and Crow Crook. He's done his bike about it previously at Gateshead. Wanted by North Allerton, Pontefract, Tadcaster, Kendall and Newcastle Benfield. Right, so we're going to fight to keep him already. Um, £110. No wonder we've got no players. £100, £110. Dan Bennett, he's played at Gateshead as well. 14 aggression, 13 marking. Decisions and determination of 12 again. As I say, Gateshead is his thing. Um, Mossley, Northwich, Victoria, Osset, Trafford, Bishop Oakland, Frickley, Kidsgrove. Fifty pound appearance fee. That's more like it, right? So that's half. So he's half as good as those last as uh, Lily and Warrener. Lewis McGeek, again twelves for heading, finishing, decisions, acceleration, pace. Good strikers for this division. Again, former Gateshead man. Previously at concert, Lancaster, Whitby, Atherton, Collieries, Kendall, Leak. They want him. He's not actually getting any money at all, right? He's the guy we want to keep then. Um. Okay, we're going to have to do something. I'm guessing I'm guessing it's going to be trials because uh, the rules, obviously, of this save are we can't just go to the transfer list and buy players. We've got to scout them. We've got to scout them and we've got to take um, some advice of the staff that we don't have. Um, I mean, I guess the fact that we didn't have players sort of makes sense that we don't have staff either. So no assistant manager... No coaches, no scout, no physio. Right, okay. We have to stick some adverts out in the in the paper, I reckon. Um, presumably, we've got some money to do that. Nope, don't have any money to do that at all. Um, predicted to lose quite a bit of money by the end of the season as well. So we're expected to lose 20 grand, 40 grand by the end of next year. I mean, that's 400 pound back. £40 a week wage? £40 a week wage budget? Really? Like, hang on, so that's 40, 80, 120, 160. Like, so, in a four-week calendar month, that's £160 a month. That's less than... That's about what someone would pay on a family saloon car. And I'm expected to put a football team together. So, we brought a load of players in on trial, as I say, to get a look at some players. Now, again, you can see we've got some stars kicking around there as well which is quite good because that means we actually can see what these players are like now um we couldn't say it beforehand but we actually have now got some players on the books if i look even more players who are white as well so we've actually given players quote-unquote contracts um kevin nash trevor bertram todd kerridge matty cranston aiden hutchinson these are all guys who were kicking about in the under 23s under 18s, I mean, look at all these guys we've got on loan here, on loan on trial, sorry, who look like they're, according to the, to the coaches, these guys are absolute superstars. Now, I don't believe that for a second, okay? I don't believe that every single one of these players are all five-star players, but compared to what we've clearly got at the club, they're five-star players. So, like, that maybe gives you a bit of an indication as to the quality level that we're working with here. So, uh, we need to do something. We've brought some players in, as I say, from, from the under-23s and the under-18s. But it's it's going to be a bit choppy and a bit dicey, I reckon, uh, for the first few weeks. But we'll get by. Um, ultimately, we have brought in some staff now. We've, we've, got a, we've got an assistant manager. We've got a coach. Still don't have a scout. We do have a physio, though. So, that's good. In fact, to be honest, looking at our coaching, we actually do pretty pretty good, and and you know physios we're up there with you know some of the best in the league as well. I mean, you know, look at our assistant manager here, Graham Surridge, fourteen working with youngsters, 
13 discipline, 10 adaptability, but also these are the key stats here. 4 for attacking, 2 for defending, 1 for fitness, 3 for mentals and 3 for technicals. So that's why he's the assistant manager, because that's the best stats you can get at this level. Um, Alex Reeves has come in as coach. 13 coaching youngsters, 12 adaptability, 15 for discipline, but again, quite a sort of even spread, four for attacking and defending, twos for fitness and mentals, and fours for technical and tactical, which, to be honest, is pretty good. I mean, you look at there, what we've got there, so we're quite high in attacking, coaching, mental coaching, and technique. Obviously, tactical cohesion, we need to maybe work on mental, we need to work on a little bit, uh, and goalkeeping as well. We haven't got any sort of specific goalkeeper training, but also don't have a... Um, an actual goalkeeper we had to bring one in from the under 23s so um this will sort of be the flavor i reckon as we go as i say for the first few months we'll be pretty much patching it all together and seeing how it goes um financially it's not really helping much to be honest we're currently spending 53 pounds of that 40 pounds a week budget uh in fact it's just gone up now it's gone up to 41 pounds so we're clearly making a lot of money uh, we've gone up from uh, a couple of hundred quid in the bank to just shy of two grand. Um, as I say, we're not really paying anybody wages. Uh, McGeek's gone, by the way. He's he's gone off to uh, some other club. He just went on a on a on a move. Um, looks like uh, Dan Bennett's going to go. Matty Cranston's come in uh, from the reserve. But he's still put, coming up as two quid a week though, which is like he's not on a contract. He's on an appearance fee. So I suppose it makes sense that, you know, the wages have to come from somewhere, but I don't understand it fully anyway. It's it's not really for me to work out the whole mass of these things. So my plan is we're going to try and speculate to accumulate. Hopefully it'll work well because we're getting some money off the back of things like playing a bunch of friendlies at the start of the season. So we played Heaven, we played Gateshead, Darlington, York, Boston, Chester, games that we were expected to lose, but just bring money in. You know, that's the main thing. That's all we got to do bring some revenue in because the season is about to start and as I said we had no players so we've now promoted some of the youngsters and we'll see what happens really um first game of the season very very exciting us us that's right us Washington at home to Heaton Stanington um a game we're expected to win maybe a game we're hopeful to win this is the team sheet this is the team that I believe in all Homegrown boys, Graham Campbell, Sam Lilly, Dan Bennett, Ad Aidan Hutchinson's got the captain's armband, Clark Shotton, Matty Cranston, Colin Gray, Todd Kerridge, Trevor Bertram, John Joe Lang, Jack Warner. That is the team that I believe in. Um, that is where my hopes lie. I guess we just have to wait and see. To be honest, it's, it's very much unknown. Um, level 10, as I say, I've not managed down here before, so... It's going to be, it's going to be an experience and we're all going to be in it together and it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to break, I'm going to tell you right now, tactics wise, very, very simple. We've gone 4 4 2. I'm not mucking about with this. I'm not trying anything fancy. I'm not trying, um, you know, overlapping centre halves or anything like that. I'm just going standard 4 4 2, cautious counter attack, <laughs> direct passing. Um, I've got a bit of overlapping and I've got a little bit of play out from the back that's all I've got like no more complicated instructions than that just get the ball forward here's Lang he's, he's got it in oh oh he's offside less than like, two minutes in two minutes in on his debut and we thought we had the ball in the net oh that could have been the perfect start couldn't it here comes Kamara there's a wasted corner we've got nobody back on here don't dive in, don't dive in. That's good, that's good covering. Is that gonna run out? No, 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 no. Don't like okay, keep your eyes peeled. Oh. No, that's fine. That's discount that's disallowed as well, right? But I mean look at look at the bunch, and this is like schoolboy football, isn't it? Awful, awful defending. I mean, he's offside, so that's fine, but that's not great. That's not great. Here comes Lang again. Goalkeeper's gone flying out. <laughs> just suicide dive. I needed Cranston to look up there as well and just take a bit of a pot shot while the keeper was out there. But this is suicidal. I'm loving this. Already five minutes in. This is like end-to-end -end stuff. Lang. Warner. Oh, goalkeeper turns it round. 
the post he didn't look particularly comfortable with it to be honest if I'm if I'm uh, if I say so myself Gray with the ball in there headed away balls come back out now can we pick it back up yeah here's Bennett lovely ball swung back in but cleared away by the defender again so just putting a bit of pressure on there um I think we're doing all right now to us a few minutes in um just I don't know if there's any nerves I don't know whether this is whether we just I don't know whether this is just us, to be honest. I, I don't know if this is how we play or whether uh, this is a sort of indication of the league. But that's a great ball in as well. And Warren has just headed the ball over the top. Can't quite direct his header. But a nice ball from Cranston, though, on his debut. I'm happy with that. A few more of those. And we might start making a few problems uh, for that Heat and Stanton defence. Because uh, Warren needs to start earning his hundred and odd quid a week wages. So, um, yeah bit more sort of a bit more bit more opportunity towards goal would be quite nice here Bertram lovely ball in Warren has got to finish this come on oh it's blocked Lang goalkeeper saves it oh it, I tell you what man this is all Washington in the first 15 minutes isn't it we have got we, we we're up for this we're up for this I like it maybe start going a little bit more do we do we go a little bit more a little bit more positive. Ooh, <laughs> 15 minutes in. Let's start to go balanced and give him a bit of shouting. That's that's how excited I'm getting. Um, Grey corner headed away. Warrener chasing it down now. Picks the ball up. Warrener turns, runs at the defence. Lovely ball into Lang. Nice ball. Grey picks it up. Oh, just intercepted by the defender. This Grey, by the way, he looks like a decent little kid as well. He's come out of the youth system. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Warren is onside. A stray at the goalkeeper. Put, cuts it back on. Lang's gone down. No penalty. No. There's a free kick there. Surely, though, Hutchinson's going to get a yellow card for one of those uh, professional fouls, I believe they're called. Uh, they used to be called cynical fouls back in the day, but professional fouls now. Um, here's Bennett. Picks the ball up. Wonders where the ball is. It's in his feet. Shotton, Bertram, Shotton, gives the ball away again, Hutchinson picks it up now, here's Bertram again, Bertram, Shotton, lovely ball in for Warren, oh, it's hit the post, oh, I tell you, we're creating some chances, we are creating some chances, need to start taking some though, otherwise we all know how this works, you don't, you don't, you don't take your chances. You end up being hit on the uh, on the counter attack and with a sucker punch. So it'll be nice to see one of these end up in the in the net somehow. Warner Lang, nice ball out to Kerridge, Shotton, Bertram down the wing, pulls it back. It's gone all the way out to Cranston. Cranston for Warren heads it over the top. Hmm. I don't know. As I say, we are getting in and about them. Um, I think their midfielders are starting to look a little bit, a little bit stressy though. So maybe let's get a bit in their faces, shall we? Try and sort of hurry them up a little bit. Um, maybe force a couple of errors. I mean, I know we don't really have the energy to do that sort of thing, but we could at least try. We could try and get it done. Um, you know, this grey and carriage, grey, grey, as I was trying to say earlier, grey, he's one of the youngsters, he's he's already, he's 15 years old, three-star potential already, like, into, sorry, three-star current ability, like, potential ability, he could well turn out to be pretty good. Um, uh, oh, good save there by Campbell. He saw that late as well, didn't he? Um, yeah, we got away with that a little bit. Um, that's what I'm saying, though, about, like, we need to take our chances, because these sort of, you know they're gonna just hit pot shots from places, and we're gonna to have to we have to deal with it. Here's Warren. He's gone down. It's a penalty. Oh, penalty! Right, half an hour in. Let's get the penalty sorted out. I'm not having Dan Bennett take that. He's a defender. Let's give it to somebody who can take penalties. That's what we're gonna do. Bennett. Um, whereabouts? He's not even on the first page. Um, no, he's down near the bottom. So let's. I'm surprised Warren is not on there to be honest as as quite right Colin Gray 15 year old this is your this is your moment man 
come and do it. Kevin Nash, big sexy, he's on there. Um, he's he's a young lad from Scotland, by the way. Kevin Nash, uh, not the uh, NWO Kevin Nash. Although I did buy, I did sign him just literally for that. Uh, hang on, Bennett's taking it. Oh, I thought we changed that. I thought we changed it. I didn't think Bennett was taking the penalty. Lang, nice ball in now. Warren, then defender gets his foot in. Why did Bennett take that penalty? I'm lost for words. I'm lost for words. I thought I'd changed it. You saw me change it, didn't you? Lang brings it down. Lang, lovely ball in. Warren picks it up. Got to score this time. Yes! 1-0, 1-0 to Washington. Jack Warrener with the goal. I'll tell you what, these two are linking up pretty decently, to be honest. Lang and Warrener. Um, a lot of space, a lot of space Lang's running into. Nice ball. He's on side as well, Warrener, and he's got to finish that. Um, he's had countless chances, countless chances. Finally makes one makes one count. Um, yeah, he's on side. He's on side by a mile. No doubt about that at all. Right, 1-0, 30 odd minutes, 40 minutes into, into my career, 1-0. That's what we want. That will that'll just make everything better. Good ball in there, well held by Campbell. Commanding his area, that's what you need as well. New goalkeeper coming in, needs to make a make his presence felt. Oh, that was close. That was very close. Very close indeed. Um one nil's precarious, isn't it? Because we've already we're already dropping back to cautious. We're not we're not jumping about again. Here's Warner again. Warner. Oh, oh, oh. I tell you, I tell you what, man. Warner looks a player, doesn't he? He looks a player. At this level, he's doing pretty good. XG there, two point three. Look at that. Look at that's a that's a good first half, isn't it? And I think it looks like we need to really pressure their our left hand side there, their right back. Get on their right back a bit more. Because we've got a lot of a lot of player focusing down there. So we could maybe chuck a bit more that way and, and really sort of force the issue a bit. Or go the other side. Think and keep going down there right. Think and do that. Because it's looking like Bertram and Shot and are having a pretty decent time of it to be honest so let's just keep that let's go let's put an underlap on the right hand side let's go keep it down the left and focus a bit more play down there um ultimately oh yeah maybe make shot and go to support force the issue a bit more um ultimately the the, the plan just is really give get the ball to lang and and warner and let them do it really because lang's having a great time just dropping into the space between the defenders and the midfielders, and and Warren is just shooting practice. To be honest, he's managed to get one, but he's had he could easily have had two or three by now. And of course, remember not to give Dan Bennett penalties. That's that's the other thing. I mean, that and that and that's the frustrating thing in this already. We're playing well. It, it could have been better. We could even we could have been two 0 up by now. If it wasn't for that whole Dan Bennett. F I don't even know what's just happened there. Sorry, I've just speechless for a bit. I was just like, oh, has that come off the underside of the bar? Oh, here's Warner. Warner, come on, do something with it. He's gone through, has he? Oh, lost it. Lost it. Oh, sorry, I was still a little bit taken back from that previous moment where they appeared to hit the underside of the bar and then we've hoofed it away somehow. So that took me a little bit by surprise. And then obviously Warren has gone through and just just couldn't keep it under control when he got into the box. Defenders have obviously managed to, to crowd him out. So corner from Kamara. In it goes Campbell's well held on to that. Nice straight at Campbell. No worries at all. Distributes it well. Warner gets up. Again, good in the air, isn't he? I mean I suppose six foot six, you'd kind of expect him to be. But he's putting himself about. No no cover there, but again Campbell just collects that one nicely. He's he's done alright. As well, coming in from the under-23s, Campbell. Happy enough with his debut so far. Hutchinson, lovely tackle. Lang. Good ball up top. Here's Warner again. He's away. 
Oh, <laughs> that would have been some goal, wouldn't it? That would have been some goal, trying from distance. Um, maybe just need to tweak something. I think Cranston's maybe looking a bit tired, so possibly replace him with Briggs. Um, I don't really want to change too much else, to be honest, because everyone else is running pretty well. Lang, Warner, Hutchinson. Yeah, they're all, all above seven. Bertrand's got a seven. Maybe switch that back out to a bit more standard play on the right. Sort of balance it up a wee bit. Um, yeah, I don't want to change too much because, well, still a long, still a long time this match to go. That's a nice ball through Robinson. Oh, he scuffed it. He scuffed it. No, he has, actually not. He's, it's a, the defender's got a touch on it. Sorry, I thought he'd scuffed that there. And I was I was almost laughing at how poor that shot was, but no, the defender's got in the way. Got a foot on it. So, if anything, nice defending. Give ourselves a bit of credit instead. Um, good ball in there. Oh, he's unmarked. He's completely unmarked. Forgot to set throw-in instructions up, didn't I? I mean, that's a brilliant ball in, but defender just lets him go. First chance comes back off the bar, finishes the rebound. Ugh. Right, okay. Now the penalty miss might start to have some sort of significance. Um... It's not ideal. Don't really want to bring Bennett off as well. He's one of the better players, but he's already on a yellow card. He's missed us a penalty, and we need to try and change something up. So let's bring Waller on for his debut. He can go at centre-half. They're looking quite tired, to be honest. They've got yeah two defenders who are tired. Their midfield's tired, so we might need to try and pressure them a little bit. I think Lang's had a great game. Let's bring him off, though, because he's looking a bit knackered as well. Big sexy Kevin Nash can come on. Um, see what he's going to do. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. They're really coming back into it now, aren't they? Shot and lovely ball. Warren has picked it up. Oh, he shanked it. He's absolutely shanked it. Proper lower league striker. <laughs> strike that in it. Um, apologies, by the way, for, for describing that as a lower league strike um, when we're in the tier 10 leagues here and of course there will be people who will be watching this who are big fans of tier 10 as i am as well by the way bertrand picks it up warren he's gone all the way he's gone all the way he's gone all the way he's made it 2-1 he's made up for that absolute shanker and i said shanker um that he did a few seconds ago bertrand lovely one too bertrand plays it into the space i thought he'd gone too far to be honest there a little bit too wide. i thought the defender got him too wide but jack warrener just puts it right back across the goal into the far post. 2-1. 15 minutes to go. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. Right, there's still a lot of football to be played. A lot of football to be played. Let's maybe drop... Let's maybe drop Kevin Nash back a little bit. Um, He can play a bit of link-up play between the midfield and the forwards. We don't want to... We don't want to sort of be pushing too far now. Maybe try and hold it. I don't want to go too daft. I don't know the league particularly well, so I don't know <laughs> what you can and can't do at this point. So if I maybe go a slightly lower line of engagement, maybe try and sort of compress the play a little bit, that might help. Here's Kevin Nash there. Lovely ball. Warren is through. Oh! <laughs> yes! It's a hat trick. It's a hat trick for Mr. Warrener. Kevin Nash. What about that for a ball? That's a lovely ball. And absolute composure for Warrener. Three goals. Three goals. That'll do. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. I mean, granted, it's still too much for the club, but that's why he gets the big money. Three goals, three goals, three one. Right, we can only make three subs. That's that's fine. Okay, I'll learn that as well as we go along. Um, right, I'm happy now. So that's us up to fourth. If if things stay as they are, we're up to fourth. That's 
brilliant. Couldn't have expected anything better than that at the start of the at the start of this game. Uh, balls played out now. Bertram's picked it up. Here he comes. Bertram, lovely long ball. Oh, oh he's through again. Warner. Oh, <laughs> yes. Four goals. Four goals. For, right. I've, okay. I've, I've decided now. Four goals for the ultimate Warrener. There. That's his nickname. Right. That's his nickname. The ultimate Warrener. What a. What a start that is. What a start. Four one. I hadn't. I didn't have four one in my sweepstake when we started this. By the way, I I thought we could get one. You know, if we could score two goals, I'd be happy. But four, and with Mister Penalty, oof. It's a good start to the season. Up to third. Certainly can't complain with that. This has been a great performance. Oh, Joel Kerridge. Just trying to take a little bit of shine off this performance, aren't you, Joel Kerridge? Um, again, again, set play in it. Second goal conceded from a throw in. It's that second phase of a throw in, but it's still a throw in conceded goal. So we need to work on defending throw ins. Right, that's fine. That is excellent. 4 2. First match of the season under our belts. What more can we say? What more can we say? Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Lang played brilliant on his debut. Bertrand played brilliant on his debut. Nash played brilliant on his debut. And the ultimate Warrener. Four goals. Four goals. I mean, there is an irony, of course, as we say. Because of the fact this is non-league, because of the fact that no one's on a contract, when we play the games offline and we come back in a few weeks, he might not even be. <laughs> he may actually have been picked up by somebody else. So we're going to have to enjoy him while we while we have him. But today belongs to Jack Warner. What a performance! That's what we needed to do. We needed to get off the off the. Off the starting blocks, to be honest. Um, get a win. That's that's the important thing. Start the season with a win. We can then start building from there. We're going to have some pre-season friendlies. Um, sorry, not pre-season friendlies. We're going to get some local friendlies littered in between games. Try and keep fitness up. Uh, we'll talk probably more in the next uh, video about what we're going to try and do to keep players' fitness up. Try and work on tactics. Try and work on set players. See if the squad's any different. I presume it will be. I guess we can't really get too attached to players at this level because they will come and go um players who are here this week may not be here next week but we'll see how we get on we're going to aim for twice a week as well for the videos i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you have enjoyed it it's the start of something big uh hopefully it's the start of something special if you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and of course as i say please subscribe to the channel and and turn those notifications on and um, any comments leave them below in the comment section particularly um you know any prayers for warren Air, any sort of tactics you think we might need to use uh, as i say we've gone for a standard 442 because i don't want to try and complicate things too much but as i say ultimately thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i hope that we'll see you on the next video on grassroots to glory <laughs>